you know, he got the little like you know what I'm saying like he ain't interested whatever type of fish you know what I'm saying and so they were like go ahead man spit something man I went to rapping see when I went to rapping I ain't get past probably like four bars bro real talk that nigga went the same man what the f Mm -hmm. Man, hold on, you know what I'm saying? For real, it did. It was like, man, spit something else, man. I went to rapping again, and then went to jumping up and down, and it for like real, man. I can't hey, imagine because he is energetic. Man, man, it was so crazy, man. Like then it was like, you know, everybody was like, ooh, like you gotta rap something now. Nah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. And I ended up saying it in the studio just to be driving you did the nigga that I beat. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Wayne and heard stuck. me say it, and then Wayne ended up saying it. And once he said it, it on the track, yeah, it stuck. For me. I, I want to ask you about that. It, it, it's, mm -hmm. They say Wayne discovered you. Mm -hmm. You was on the streets. Explain yeah. to me how did Wayne discover you on the streets? Is he on the streets at this time mm -hmm. looking for artists? Uh -uh, nah, it was more of like... My big homie from around my way, you know what I'm saying? You know, on um, Mule, you know, like one of the older dudes from around the way. Uh, you know, he was just always like, because he, cause he went to school with most of the people that Wayne was around every day. He went to school with them, so he knew them. And so um, he just was like, yo, look, I'm, I'm gonna bring you to that boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring you to him and ride one. Now at the time, you know, that shit seems so, you know what I'm saying? For, for that man, whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For real. That's you know? Cow, yeah, because you're like, mm, you don't know the way, You know what I'm saying? But hey, real talk, man. That nigga pulled up, you know what I'm saying? In front of my door. You feel me? I never forget this shit, man. He pulled up in front of my door, bro. Uh, and I was out there. I was on the porch. You did me and my cousin Mike. You did, Lord bless the dead. And um, I'm like, she's like, come on, nigga, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? I'm like, yeah, fuck me. You know How what I'm saying? You? Nigga, hey, doing shit else, nigga. You How old were saying? you right then? Uh, I probably like like 15. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, when I, when I got in there, you did. I made sure I brought Mike. You did, cause nigga, I need a witness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need a witness with me. Yeah, for real. And uh, he brought me up there. We went to the uh, to the east, and um, he was he was he was playing a game. You know what I'm saying? So you know I'm I'm in the house. You know I'm anxious like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there. So after a while, I'm like, man, what the fuck, man. So you not go up to him. You dig? I'm like, man, look, bro. You dig? I'm you people. You dig? But I'm in the rap for you. Woo -woo. And he kind of like gave me the brush off, like, all right, all right, you know, like, all right, you dig? My people gonna check you out, type shit. So when he did that. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, fuck this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? For real, you're like, man, I'm, I'm about to dip out. So I never forget, bro. Like. I was leaving out in uh, Fee, you know what I mean? I don't know if you ever heard of Fee Banks say, bro, nah, he's an interesting guy, bro, who you need to get up here, bro. Okay. Like, I always shout Fee out, bro. Fee one of the realest people, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ever met, bro, from day one. Um, And I'm, I'm gonna give you, give you a little something about him, and I'm gonna finish the story. Uh, mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Fee, you wouldn't have Kevin Gates. Wow. If it mm. wasn't for Fee, you wouldn't have NBA Youngboy. Wow. <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just say that. You know That's what I'm hard. Saying? That's hard. Yeah, bro, so, um, you know, shout out to Fee, man, but um, Fee, you know, he came up. You, you, gotta, you gotta link me with Fee. I got that, you. That's hard right there. I got you. I got you. Uh, his name Fee Banks. Okay. Um, he can't stop me. And he was just like, look, 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 don't trip. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna call him out here for you. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? Like, don't trip. I'm gonna call him out here for you. Woo, woo, woo. And uh, he come out the house. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he got the little, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't interested, whatever type of fish. You know what I'm saying? And so they were like, go ahead, man, spit something. Man, I went to rapping. See, when I went to rapping, I ain't get past probably like four bars, bro. Real talk. That nigga went the same. Man, what the f***? Mm -hmm. Man, hold on. You know what I'm saying? For real, it did. It was like, man, spit something else, man. I went to rapping again. That nigga went to jumping up and down. That nigga, for like, real, man. I can't say, imagine because he is energetic. Man, it was so crazy, man. Like, then it was like, you know, everybody was like, ooh, like. You gotta rap something now. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, to him and man, we ended up rapping out there for like probably like a good hour and a half. Then right after that, yeah, we went straight to the studio. Straight to wow. the studio. Straight right to there. the studio. And we uh that's how the uh, um, the rap group squad up. You know what squad I'm saying? Up. Was born right then now, that night. Wow. So Wayne and, and nice. what what are some of the things and that, that something that sticks out that early in those early times that he he brought up or asked you mm -hmm. about, like or, or or maybe he 
not asked you about, but but gave you some good advice on, you know, as far as on the route, um, the way the lyrics well, go and all that. Well, well, Wayne, this one thing he told me uh, with advice, he was like, bro, what matters the most is how you start the song and how you end it. You know what I'm saying? Because those, because no matter what you're saying, how you come in, you did, people gonna always remember that. And they gonna always remember your last words. Wow. So always make sure that's powerful. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and most of all, like, his work ethic, you know what I mean? Like, in, in the studio, it's crazy. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah, I know? heard stories of it, man. Yeah, man. Like, he, he lives in there. For real. Yeah. And, and as far as, like, from for a person like me, you know, it's like, I'm trying to get where you at. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to work just as hard as you or harder. You wow. know what I mean? For real. Squad Up, uh, was that formulated when you got there or was he working on that, you know? Yeah, Um. well, you know, that was kind of like his little like group of friends who he always, you know what I'm saying? His friend, they was already calling himself the, the Squad. Okay. And uh, when I got there, like I said, you know, that's when we formed Young Money. Kids stay in school, leave out the house, neighbors peeking out the window, show the pistol to the neighbor. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Squad Up, the actual uh, rap group. Squad Up, Squad Up, Squad tapes. Up was the one that, didn't y'all have, y'all had an issue with Slim Thug. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, y'all were yeah. young. <laughs> young yeah. hard heads, man. Yeah. What was that about, man? Oh, uh, man, that was just us, man. You know, uh, you know, riding for Flip, man. Because, you know, Flip, Flip showed us a whole lot of love, bro. Okay. Like, during that Katrina, that whole Katrina time and stuff like that. And, you know, that's just how we bred, bro, out there. Like, if we rocking with you, we rocking with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, you know, and it's like, you know, if a nigga fucking with that, just like, man, if, if me and you go to the club right now, you know what I'm saying? You get into it with a nigga, I'm in it, I'm in it with you. You gotta be. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's just, you know, like how he was, man, for real, you know, but shout out to Slim Thug, man. <laughs> I talked to Slim about, thug, I don't know, about two thug. weeks, what, about three weeks ago <laughs> mm -hmm. with Lil Kiki and them, but, man, <laughs> shout out to all them boys down there in H-Town, man, Flip, yeah. uh, Thug, uh, Lil Kiki, yeah, man. Yeah, man, shout out to Flip, man, shout man. out to all the H-Town legends out there, man, man. for real. Shout out to Trey. Yeah, Shout, Shout out, to, out Trey. to Trey, man. Yeah, man. I Trey love Sire. Trey, man. Love Trey, man. Shout, love Sire. all them boys. Like I said, man. But you basically at that time, man. You you were squad up. The Young Money thing happens. Is this parallel in each other or yeah? Um, so they going on at the same time? Yeah, man. Um, it was like you know we were the squad up. We was doing you know the whole group name Wayne and stuff like that. And then we had our period where. You know, just us, like the rappers, you know what I'm saying? We separated from Wayne and started doing our own thing, you know? And that's mm -hmm. when, uh, you know, a lot of stuff like with Flip, uh, the mixtapes with Flip and yeah. shit like that yeah. happened. Um, and then after that, you know, me, you know what I'm saying? I ended up, you know, getting back in the day with Wayne. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I, and, and the one thing I can't say, Wayne, uh, one of the hardest working niggas ever, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.